Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another football video. Guys, I want to get this one straight on the way, so guys, you know what to do. Give a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. Who do I tip to win the Premier League? Now, this is going to be an outshot and this is why. The 2022 World Cup, well, between November and December. All the Premier League players have got to really come back, hit the ground running. I don't think that's going to happen. I've always said to my dad and I've said to everyone else, it takes more than one player to make a team. It actually takes 11 men. I can actually see a big outshot for this uh, Premier League. And this is why Arsenal will be taking more than likely full team players to the World Cup. I'm not sure, you know, whether that, but somewhere around there. That's one team basically out in Qatar for the 2022 World Cup. Chelsea have got 22 players for the 2022 out there for the World Cup. Liverpool have got 15 out there for the World Cup. Big, big numbers. Most, even Man City are taking 14 players to the Qatar World Cup, more than likely. Anyway, this Premier League is going to be very, very interesting. Who do I believe is going to win it? I'll tell you in a bit. But for Chelsea to take nearly two squads out to the World Cup, and don't forget, it's not all one nationality. These are all the nationalities taking part in the 2022 World Cup in Qatar in November. And they, they got to come back for a week and hit the ground running on Boxing Day. This could really be a very interesting uh, Premier League season coming up. Obviously, it all goes on the signings as well. But I still reckon this team will have an outshot of winning the Premier League. So, you know, who do I believe is going to win it? Do I believe it's going to be Brighton? Wolves? Villa? Uh, Tottenham? Not really. Man United? No chance. And that's no disrespect to United, by the way. I just don't think you got there yet. I think you've more got to worry about Liverpool catching up then you know the title west ham no nope. who do i believe is going to win it crystal palace no nope. aston villa i think for what he said then but no this is really going to be a big big out shot it's will it make it top of my premier league prediction table we have to find out later throughout the month i'm going to lay a few ideas down first i don't want to try and make it big but so I give out the first idea, you'll probably guess who I'm on about. Now, they're far up north from where I live, so if I live in Brighton, they're up that way. Uh, what else can I say? The big rivals with some of them, there you go, you probably just guessed it now. But anyway, I'll go continue. They play in black and white. There you go, if you haven't just guessed it, you just have to now, surely. And Eddie Howard's in charge. There you go. As I said, if you haven't guessed, you probably don't now. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But I've gone for Newcastle. Why have I gone for Newcastle? Now, if you look at their team, not the first part of last season, but the second part, the big money takeover, the second of Steve Bruce, the signings of like Dan Byrne, Chris Woods. All when good signings that Newcastle had, and that extraordinary second part of the season they've had. Newcastle, I guarantee you, there will be no players in that Newcastle squad that would be called up for the World Cup. Here's why. I'll, when I do watch international duty, I do watch it with a slight oversight of, you know, maybe just a regular fan to help me make these calls. And don't forget, I was possibly the only one to predict, to predict Brentford beat Arsenal at the start of last season, and that did come in. So just don't think this is, you know, ludicrous. But I reckon Newcastle will have a slight chance of winning the Premier League for the 2022-23 season. As I said, it's wide because I can't see any of the Newcastle players being called up. You know, the England's game just finished for the Nations League. I go talk about that, that may, may be a video for another time. But when you think of Newcastle United, you know, where they've going, they've got their fan base back. 
they're looking in a different direction than they were possibly 12 months ago, not even that, 6, 7. But Newcastle, for me, are a shadow chance of winning the Premier League. And they'll say why, because of the lights of players they've got, the summer window's still open, they can still make big, big summer signings over the next couple of months. It's going to be a very, very interesting for Newcastle. Will I predict them to finish top? You're going to have to wait till later, to next month, to, uh, closer towards the Premier League season starts. I'll go over a big think about this. But uh, as I said, this is a slight chance and a big shout. I want to do a video on it because I want to get your opinions on it as well. Who do you believe? It's, if it's not Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, Tottenham, no one in the top 10, who do you believe have got a slight chance of winning the Premier League? Or if you really are struggling, I take anyone out the top four. So you can't have Man City, you can't have Liverpool, you can't have Chelsea and you can't have Spurs. And actually I'll go and put Arsenal in that as well. Uh, so anyone outside the top five, guys put your predictions down below. This has been a very interesting video. Team will be thinking about for a couple of weeks as well, but shadow chance. But that's who I'll put my money on. As I said, if I, it's going to be interesting to see if I make my top of my Premier League prediction table come later next month. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Guys, a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.